So listen here. Just like in that movie, The Incredibles, the first Incredibles, remember there was this big black robot, looked like Dr. Octopus, right, from uh, Spider-Man, but big black robot, it was that artificial intelligence, um, and they were trying to attack it because this robot was a villain, but every time they would uh, attack it with some fancy move, the robot would learn and get better, and then they're like, how do we attack this thing? It always comes back stronger. It always comes back from... Our, our attack where we thought we beat it, it comes back with another tool in the toolbox that we can't use that attack anymore. Now flip the script. That's what you've got to be like. You've got to be like that ever failing and ever learning robot. You've got to realize that if nothing can stop you, if nothing can stop you, just like the robot, if every time you fail, you learn, you'll be unstoppable. And the only thing that can stop you is you. But you got to understand that failing, like when the robot fails, like when it loses to one of those fancy moves that never thought the Incredibles could throw the move at him, it goes, okay, now I'm stronger. Now I know I will recalculate the way I attack. And it's stronger. And it's almost an undefeatable opponent. And the only thing that can beat you is yourself. And that's how it goes in the movie as well, is that the robot is the only thing that could destroy the robot. But flip the script. We're not the villain in this story. If you can fail as often as possible, but learn from the first time you fail, won't make that mistake again. Boom. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep going. It doesn't matter if you're wiped out and you have to restart from zero. You're better. You're faster. You're stronger. And if you don't defeat yourself, can't nobody defeat you. You're undefeatable. You got to understand that you have unlimited power, but it's important that it's only the doers who are willing to fail, who understand in a 2020 hindsight kind of way that failing is the way that they learn the most. Failing is the way that they get stronger. That failing is the way that you learn the new tricks. Failing is the way that you get stronger and smarter for the next time. Make sure you're learning from this shit. That's the only caveat is you got to learn the first time. What I say is fail as quick as possible. Fail as much as possible. You know, when I started my business at 18 years old, I know a lot of people alongside me, they said, let me go to college. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me get all this set up. Let me get an LLC set up. Let me do all this set up. And now look at you. Got the paper to your name. I got five years of failing under my, under my belt. I got five years of knowing what it takes and what it doesn't. And I got five years of knowing what life's going to throw at me. And you're just a little child. You're just a baby. You're just a young. I mean, you're, you're on the base level. And guess what? The thing that you were working on that whole four year, five year, eight year, you know, your education, it's not going to speed up the amount of things you need to learn. Because unfortunately, they don't teach the way that you have to fail in business, the way that you have to fail when you're uh, running a startup, when you're running a company that's not a franchise, when you're running a, an endeavor that no one's got all the answers for you. They can't give you the specific answers. You got to learn that shit through trial and error. And I'm talking error. You got to learn it through heartbreak. You got to learn it through theft. You got to learn it through people stabbing you in the back. This is how you get good in life. As you open yourself up to that ability. Yeah. You could stab me in the back. Yeah. I could lose it all. Yeah, you could really hurt me, but guess what? I'm learning the first time, and ain't no fucking way you're gonna ever make that mistake to me again. There's no fucking way you're ever gonna make, you know, I'm not gonna be in a position to fail again in that way. You better find something real creative, because I'm learning, and I'm getting stronger, and it's only person and only being in existence that can beat me is me, and I don't plan on losing anytime soon, because I'm getting stronger, and every time you attack, I learn, and every time fate tries to throw a curveball at you, I learn how to swing the proper way, I know when not to swing, baseball shit, that's the advice, fail the most, fail the most, and do it, only doers learn this. Only people that take action learn this. It's the people that fail are the ones that obsess with perfect form. The people that fail are the ones that obsess with doing it just right or the tactics or the procedure or everything behind it. And they want to think it, think it, think it. And maybe I'll look around at my options. And meanwhile, there's some people out there that have just said, fuck it. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it now. And I'm going to learn how to do it right. And I'm going to how to do it better. Is because... You defeat you 
through your inaction, we are blessed in our society that we have so many options out there, whether it's fitness programs you can join or different businesses you can open or different types of workouts you can do. You know, all, these are basic examples of, let me just think about it. Let me just, which one's the best? I don't know. You know what's the best? It's when you put your fucking foot down on the gas and you go and you find out what's down the path. You're going to run some bumps over. There's going to be some speed bumps and some roadblocks. And only you who are willing to put your foot on the gas and navigate the road to your own destiny will find the speed bumps and the roadblocks and you'll learn the maze. You'll learn the maze. But it's going to take one step at a time, one foot at a time. But the sooner you start taking them steps, the better. It's important to remember, start failing. Start failing now. Start doing now. Start learning now. There's no thought process that will give you the perfect path. There's no education that will give you the perfect path or everybody would do it everyone would just adapt to that because it's a perfect answer it's the answer key baby but these answers change the businesses change the science they teach you in the books about fitness changes and when you thought you were getting some perfect education to help everybody else out what you realize is the biggest thing is marketing Uh, but you can't just learn marketing in school because the whole landscape changes and now it's completely different and if you don't, if you can't vibe with me on this, that means you're, you have yet to learn that lesson. Learn the lesson. Fail. But the only way you're going to do that faster and stronger than your opponent or the person, the you that could have just been thinking about it, the only way you're going to do it faster and better than that person is do it now. Do it now. Start failing. Jump in. Do it. Don't worry about overthinking. Don't worry about perfect form. Don't worry about, am am I going to go bankrupt? See, life is all about risk. If you take none, that's what you're going to get. Hey, so true. So true. So you owe it to you to start failing and jump in and stop overthinking and just start doing it. Okay? Take some risk. Take some big risk and go all out because your life is short and you only get one. So let's not waste it. Let's make the most of it. Let's start failing. Let's start learning. This beautiful life only if you use it.